Trey Jones here from Duke, and, and Trey, you know, clearly this team's identity, it seems to be on the defensive end. When you guys need to get a stop or change defenses, you can change the direction of a basketball game. In, in what way have you seen that identity blossom here in the ACC? Right. Um, I mean, there's been, there's been a number of games now that um, we might have come out slow or haven't been moving on the offensive end or can't really find a shot, things like that. And it seems like either we put a press on or um, we, we seem to change it up on the defensive end, whether it's going to a zone or um, guarding a certain play or a certain action differently. And it sparks our defense. Um, I mean, there's been games where Jordan has come in, if he's not already in, changed the game up. But we have our bigs blocking shots. It seems like there's a lot of different things that we can, we can do on the defensive end that changes the entire game for us. I mean, a year ago, obviously, you had a much different team, bigger team with Zion and RJ at, at times. Uh, how would you compare the way this team has to win defensively versus maybe last year's? Right. Um, I think it's completely different. Um, I mean, last year, the athleticism we had, um, it seemed like we could fall asleep on plays and were able to recover. Maybe one of us weren't on top of our game that night on the defensive end. And, um, we have one of the, one of the other freaks coming out of nowhere, making plays, blocking shots, getting steals, whatever it was. Where this year we all we all know we have to be locked and we all have to have have each other's backs on the defensive end, or else we will get ex exposed and um, end up messing up on the defensive end. How would you describe this team's resiliency when you guys have lost and your ability to bounce back pretty quickly? Right. Um, I mean that's it's been a huge thing for us this year um, early on. Um, we, we stumbled um, at home and we were able to come back, get some big wins, but then throughout the ACC we, we uh, fumbled a couple as well and we were able to bounce back from that. But uh, I mean, it's, it's really how, how, you, how you bounce back and learn from those lessons, um, especially early on in the year and throughout the ACC play. You, you have another game where at the end of the year, that's it. So trying to learn, learn, learn those lessons and um, I mean, a few of us have been through it now, what it, what it's like to lose at the end of the year. So just trying to teach teach the freshmen what it's like, um, what it's like to lose, and um, how how we need to bounce back and not make the same mistakes because at the end of the year they do come back to bite us. You know, it's crazy. A year ago, you played with multiple National Player of the Year candidates. You played with one that won it in Zion Williamson. Vernon Carey is a National Player of the Year candidate. And it seems like nationally, not getting either the hype, the stress, the pressure. Uh, I mean, how would you describe the way he has played the season and in, in, in a way to where he is a candidate for that award? Right. Um, I mean, to be honest, just me being here last year with those guys, uh, I feel like if those guys weren't here last year and it was just another normal recruiting class and Vern came in this year and having the year he is having, I feel like he will be getting that attention and will be getting talked about as the National Player of the Year. But um I mean, obviously the tension's not the same with those guys being gone now, but I mean, we, we just got to keep playing. Um, he knows he has to just keep playing, keep um, dominating how he has been and how he knows he can be. We got to keep playing off of him and winning. Um, I really think winning um, sets you all up for, for winning those, those awards. So um, I know on the inside, we're not really worried about those awards. We don't really talk about them, but um, on the outside, I definitely think he, he should be the lead, leading candidate for that. And, and Trey, just overall this season, we've had multiple number one teams. It feels wide open, but you guys are clearly one of those teams that can win it. I mean, how would you describe what this season has felt like, whether it's in your games or what you've seen nationally? Right. Um, yeah, it's, it's much different this year for sure. Um, I feel like it's much more balanced this year. There's not um, a few powerhouses and then uh, a drop off uh, from teams. So I think just with how balanced it is right now, we got to keep um, improving our things, um, keep learning from whatever mistakes we're making throughout um, the games and things like that. So by the end of the year and by tournament time, we're ready to make the run for it. Appreciate it, Trey. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Andy.